right to your phone. For months, we've heard about the possible nursing shortages. In our series, Two Americas, we highlight the America you may not know. WPTV News Channel 5's Tori Donnan tells us how area hospitals are recruiting and retaining nurses to try to fill a big gap in our community. Mia Garcia is new to nursing, a recent FAU grad. Just received my degree in December. Now working as a labor and delivery nurse at St. Mary's Medical Center. It's both a tough time. I feel like because of the shortage, nurses are definitely needed a lot right now. And a good time to become a nurse. The outreach, they're doing tons of job fairs. They're providing incentives, as bon sign-on bonuses. Libby Flippo. It's the bulk of the work I do right now. Is the chief nursing officer who oversees all of the nursing care and practice across the Palm Beach Health Network. That includes five major area hospitals. It's been on the radar for quite a while now. We knew the workforce is aging. The exacerbation came with COVID where it did speed up some retirements. What are hospitals and hospital networks doing to kind of fix the problem and come up with a solution? We, we partner with the schools and we all have on different lenses today. The way we recruited, the way we trained pre-COVID, may not be the model that fits for us today. Deliberate in how to repopulate the workforce, more work-life balance, and different shift opportunities. Recruiting that goes beyond local efforts. We are um, getting involved in international recruiting. Do we recruit from outside of the state? One of the ways they're dealing with the nursing shortage and recruitment efforts is by highlighting wider hospital networks and opportunities for career growth within. We actually use our branding and the power of our five hospitals. Daniel Sforza, a lead nurse at Good Samaritan Medical Center, says training is also a key focus. One issue that we've noticed is during COVID, some nursing schools had to cut back on sending nurses to floors of actual hospitals and get training. So we're seeing nurses coming out of the field, or into the field, I'm sorry, with less training than ever before. A shift now to get nursing students hands-on in hospital settings earlier. They're right up to speed, if not even more developed than they were prior to COVID. Mia is among those nurses. She did an externship at St. Mary's. Bridged me into being a nurse. Trying to stay one step ahead in a time when nurses are needed most. I think there will always be a need for nurses. I feel as a nation, we're always gonna feel like we're never at that need. Um, again, because as our population gets older, as our population ages and lives longer, the need's going to always increase. Tori Dunn, WPTV News Channel 5.